Oh, hey, Webster City Middle School. It's Faith. And Emily, and we're your guest hosts for the final show. From, from the, the middle! middle. <laughs> Hi, guys, it's Kate. And for our last episode, we're going to be asking eighth graders what one of their favorite memories from middle school was. What's your favorite memory from middle school? When Miss Hissler took me, Austin, and Kate to the high school for field day in her truck. Well, last year we went up in the elevator whenever we could and went to the attic and ran around like little billy goats all the time. Uh, going on the DC trip for eighth grade with all the other eighth grade kids. When I was in sixth grade and I head butted the door and Mrs. Morris got out of her seat and I took off running. Thank you. What's one of your favorite memories from middle school? Um, when Skylar broke the light with the basketball. In sixth grade, we were playing football, and I threw the ball to Trey, and he laid out Mr. Busson, and when Mr. Busson got up, he was like, Dad, get it!" <laughs> and we all just started laughing. When we were in Ms. Jurgensen's room, and she showed us her kitty call, so whenever she needs us, we would, she would do her kitty call, and we would run towards her. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> What's one of your favorite memories from middle school? My favorite memory was when Mrs. Peck asked me to get her a Mountain Dew, but it couldn't be diet. So on my way down to the machine, I was saying to myself, don't get diet, G don't get diet. And I went to the machine, and I pressed the diet Mountain Dew button, and I was basically screwed. <laughs> and so this entire thing ended in me buying a six-pack of regular Mountain Dew for Mrs. Peck for Christmas. One of my favorite memories from middle school is when we would talk Mrs. Hissler into letting us have a potluck. For the final time, see you later, middle school. Hey, WCMS, it's Zach. And Tristan, and we're here to say that course has been a very influential part of our school years. We would like to congratulate Mr. Barner on his new job as elementary school music instructor. Here's the last song we sang at our chorus concert. Hey WCMS, it's Gage and Jack, and at WCMS we've had a lot of great sports memories. Yeah. Now I'll have to see a few of them.
Hey there, WCMS. I'm Sean. And I'm Katie. And we're here to ask Mrs. Mullenbrook some of her favorite memories of the 8th grade class. Hey there, Mrs. Mullenbrook. What are your favorite memories of the 8th grade class? Uh, my favorite memory is that there's a lot of great kids in this class, and sometimes they get overshadowed by um, dealing with some of the other students, and I think that they need credit, so I want to thank them for doing the right thing all year long, and we're sorry that we didn't always recognize it, but we are recognizing it now. Thank you. Thank you. What was your favorite memory from the algebra class this year? My favorite memory would be when the boys were horsing around and threw a ball and it hit my plant and about knocked it over and I uh, was not very pleased in how I reacted to them. Hi Mrs. Sizer, what will you remember most about this 8th grade year? Uh, I will remember this 8th grade year as being my first year of full-time teaching and um, the students that I've worked with have a lot of artistic talent. I have extremely good artists that I've worked with, and they have really um, good personalities. There's a lot of different personalities that are fun to be around. So that's what I'll remember is first year, artistic, and, and my advisory, great advisory group, great kids, and uh, just really fun, neat personalities. Thank you. I've had lots of uh, great memories of this particular group. Uh, I wish them the best of luck next year at the high school and with their future endeavors. Uh, one of my favorite uh, memories, though, that I can think of off the top of my head would be when I was given the opportunity to coach them boys in eighth grade basketball this year. Uh, we finished with a 7-4 and four record, and uh, they have a lot of potential both in the classroom and on the playing field. Thank you. We're here with Mrs. Peck to tell us about her favorite memories of the eighth grade class. Well, I had you guys in fifth grade and seventh grade, and probably some of my funnest memories were of fifth grade when we used to play the song, what does the fox say? The kids loved it, absolutely loved it, so we'd play it like at the end of the day. And uh, I remember Jake getting me Diet Mountain Dew because um, I don't like anything diet. I asked him to run down to the teacher's lounge and grab me some Mountain Dew, and he grabbed me diet. Um, just so many different memories, and I just absolutely love you guys, and I'm going to miss seeing you in the middle school. Hey guys, it's Allie and Lexi. We have had a lot of great band concerts this year. Our most recent concert was Parade of Bands at the high school. Bands from grades 5 through 12 played four or five songs each. Let's go to our Parade of Bands concert and listen to a little clip from 7th and 8th grade's song Velocity. <laughs> That song was pretty hard to get the hang of. Yeah, it was, but it turned out pretty good. As we leave the middle school, we want to thank Miss Reams, our director, for putting up with us all year. Mrs. Coral for all of her behind-the-scenes work. And Mr. Barner for behind-the-scenes work as well. It's been a great year, but that's all for now. Have a great summer.
Hey, it's Riley and Blake here in Mrs. Bristow's room. For the eighth graders, this year is a big step towards the future. This year is also huge for Mrs. Bristow, as Mrs. Bristow is retiring this year. What is your favorite uh, memory of the WCMS? Um, I've thought and thought and thought about this because you guys gave me a little heads up on this. And truthfully, about the fourth year that I was teaching, um, the language and history department wrote a grant and we went to um, Sioux City and looked at the Lewis and Clark Museum and, um, and they had a big festival out there and the kids interacted with all these people doing all this um, old fashioned stuff. But we, Nicole um, wrote a grant for the chartered buses. Can you imagine? We took big chartered buses. All the kids went. And it was wonderful. Kids were so well behaved. And we watched Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> it was just so much fun to do that. And I just remember having a great time. And it was beautiful weather. And So what do you plan to do after you retire? Um, well, probably like anyone else. I want to spend some time with my children again and my grandchildren. I have four boys and three of them are married and have children. I have seven grandchildren and I really like going to their sports activities and stuff. You, as a parent you don't think you will ever want to be sitting on a bleacher again <laughs> watching kids play ball and stuff. You know, well, you know it can be kind of hurtful on the bottom but I really am looking forward to that. And I love to garden, and I love to landscape. I just, and I really would like to take classes at Iowa State again for genetics. That's just my real love of science. What do you think your biggest accomplishment in teaching has been? Um, what I have always strived to do was to make the curriculum as easy as possible for students to learn because um, it seemed like the science that I taught, they had never had any of it. Because back when I first started, we taught physics and chemistry and things like that, and genetics, and they'd never had any of it. So I tried to make it fun for them. And then I've always told a lot of stories, and that probably, I never had to make any up either. Every story I ever told was the truth, unless I lied about one, and then I told them I lied. <laughs> but Probably that, just trying to make them comfortable in the room so that they would just learn. Because if you're uncomfortable or upset about something, you just don't learn like you should. So, I don't know. That would be it, I guess. Um, is there anything else you would like to say before we end the show? I have really enjoyed teaching here. The first year I taught, I really did not enjoy it. I will tell you the truth. It was it was pretty rough year. Um, we had a lot of fights in the building, and it was in the old building, and the building was falling apart. And we would come on tours over here and, and look at the construction and stuff. And I think that that spoke to my heart that first year that we were in this building, because kids really took pride in it. We had carpet, we had state-of-the-art facilities, and the kids were so happy over here, and they were after each other. If somebody you know, was chewing gum, they were yelling at them, we are a no-gum school, we don't chew gum in this school because we have carpet. And I think just that pride that they had in the school and just the fun that we had, it was just so enjoyable. So the first year was really rough in the old building, but ever since then, it has been fun and the kids have really enjoyed it and I love teaching I just that is my passion just to share that that education and that communication so that kids can learn I'm gonna miss that it's gonna be really hard next year <laughs> thank you Miss Bristow for teaching for all these years and you'll you'll be missed thank you, thank you. my fondest memory of Mrs. Bristow is when she saw the potential in me in eighth grade of, of being an engineer, and she spent extra time outside of her busy schedule to take me and a few classmates to Iowa State and show us around the campus. So I was at that point set on going after engineering 
and that's what I do today at John Deere. I'm happy with the path I chose and I just want to say thank you Mrs. Bristow. Wish you the best in your retirement. Um, that'll be it from us. Back to you anchors. Thank you. Hey WCMS, I'm Tavis. And I'm Gabe. We've had a lot of great memories here at WCMS. And we're going to go look at some recordings of our favorites. Hi, I'm Jack, and today I'm going to ask a few sixth graders about what they're thankful for. But first, let's hear from the winner of the choice, Mr. Lyons. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. We carry the sleigh to do 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 do. What are you guys thankful for? My father's beautiful voice. My family. Football. My family. People who care. Video games. Hi, it's Cammy. Now let's introduce the eighth grade crew from the middle. <laughs> now let's introduce the eighth grade. There's a bug on that thing. It's bothering me. Okay. Okay. Five. There. Now let's introduce the eighth grade from the middle crew. Cruel crew. Okay, Jenna. I got it. Just go. Talk to each other. going on a trip. Hi guys, Tristan here. For the past few weeks in language arts, all of the seventh graders have been studying the highwayman. Would you like to steal a kiss? <laughs> sure. Russia. Or the Far East. They used to tell stories of successful hunts with the deer, followed by the hunter, followed by the large bear. <laughs> they used to the one person. Now let's dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge over to the Incas. Oh my god! Since it's our last year at the middle school, let's look at some of our past memories.